Imagine an alternate universe where the NBA's constellation of stars is completely rearranged, where dynasties are built and dismantled in the blink of an eye, and where the basketball history books are authored by the hands of fate and chance. That universe almost became our reality. Here are the five crazy NBA trades that almost happened. In 2007, a potential trade phenomenon was on the table with the Los Angeles Lakers considering a colossal exchange that would send LeBron James to Los Angeles and Kobe Bryant to Cleveland. Cleveland declined, preferring to explore options to pair Bryant with James instead. Likewise, the Lakers were not keen on parting with Bryant. At that juncture, James at 22 had propelled the Cavaliers to their first finals, while Bryant had secured consecutive scoring titles despite the lack of a strong supporting cast evidenced by Smush Parker and Luke Walton being third in team scoring in successive seasons. Without acquiring James, the Lakers pivoted, adding seasoned players to their ranks, including Pau Gasol in early 2008, which prefaced their title runs in 2009 and 2010. Speculation abounds on the ramifications had James joined the Lakers. Would he have bypassed his Miami chapter or redefined power dynamics in the Western Conference, potentially altering the emergence of the Golden State Warriors? Conversely, had Bryant joined the Cavaliers, it's conceivable that he might have ended Cleveland's long wait for a title and perhaps even thwarted the Boston Celtics' dominance in the East in 2008. This trade, had it occurred, would have been a transformative moment in NBA history, redefining legacies and reshaping the league's championship landscape. Steve Kerr and Stephen Curry seemed destined to join forces, but their partnership was nearly forged in Phoenix instead of Oakland. Kerr, during his tenure as the Phoenix Suns general manager in 2009, nearly orchestrated a trade sending Amari Stoudemire and the 14th draft pick to the Golden State Warriors for Curry. However, concerns over Stoudemire's knee health caused the transaction to collapse. The Suns' potential gains in this scenario are particularly striking. Curry could have been a sensational fit in Phoenix's rapid offensive strategy. With Stoudemire traded, the team might have embraced a small-batch approach ahead of its widespread adoption, like Mike D'Antoni using Grant Hill and Jared Dudley as power forwards. Moreover, a Curry and Steve Nash combo in a pace and space offense might have been a defensive nightmare for opponents in 2010, making the Suns must-watch TV and possibly propelling Nash to a finals appearance. Had Curry become a Sun, it's conceivable he'd still be leading their charge in 2023. While Phoenix might not have reached the global basketball acclaim that the Warriors did, with Curry, the Suns likely would have avoided their 10-year postseason absence, remaining perennial contenders instead. During the 2010s, the Golden State Warriors launched the NBA into an era characterized by swift, versatile basketball, demonstrating the effectiveness of this offensive style in securing the Larry O'Brien Trophy come June. Most teams in the league have since adopted this offensive approach, striving to replicate what Golden State has accomplished. Back in the 2000s, Mike D'Antoni, while leading the Suns, pioneered one of the most thrilling offensive strategies known as the 7 seconds or less offense, spearheaded by Steve Nash. For basketball enthusiasts in 2011, the memory is likely as vivid as if it happened yesterday. The basketball community witnessed a remarkable power play when NBA Commissioner David Stern halted a three-way deal that would have moved all-NBA point guard Chris Paul to the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers supporters were furious at Stern, a sentiment that may still hold validity. Stern defended his decision, asserting he was looking out for the interests of the then-ownerless New Orleans Hornets, Paul's team at the time, which the NBA had taken ownership of following George Shin's sale in 2010. It remains ambiguous whether Stern was safeguarding the Hornets as a stand-in owner or acting as the NBA's commissioner to prevent the creation of a super team. Regardless, a decade later, the consensus is that this non-trade significantly redirected the league's course. In retrospect, the Lakers might have dodged a complex situation, considering Paul's imposing presence, which was evident during his time with the Los Angeles Clippers and Houston Rockets. His personality might have clashed with Kobe Bryant's formidable leadership. Yet, the unresolved possibility of what could have been continues to haunt many Lakers fans, marking it as one of the enduring what-ifs in NBA lore. The decision to veto the trade by David Stern, while contentious, was undeniably beneficial for New Orleans. This prevented them from receiving a mediocre player package that would have likely resulted in a lackluster 8th seed position. Instead, the alternative deal they accepted set them on a path to acquire the top draft pick, leading to the selection of Anthony Davis. If New Orleans had succumbed to Paul's initial request, the landscape of the league today might have been markedly different. 
Before we move on to the next what if trade, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The storied Golden State Warriors of the 2010s owe their success to a delicate balance in team composition. A trade nearly executed with the Minnesota Timberwolves in 2014, had it gone through, could have been catastrophic. The specifics of the potential trade were murky, but it was on the table for the Warriors to possibly send David Lee and Klay Thompson to Minnesota in exchange for the then 25-year-old Kevin Love. Thompson was a point of contention, with many believing he wouldn't achieve the same level of play as Love. The prevailing opinion was that the Warriors should capitalize on the chance to acquire Love, even if it meant trading Thompson. However, Jerry West, serving as a consultant for the team and one of the most esteemed executives in basketball, supposedly was prepared to resign if the trade included Thompson. Ultimately, the Warriors chose not to proceed with the trade. Under Steve Kerr's leadership, the team saw strategic and philosophical shifts that Mark Jackson had not implemented, leading to Thompson's rise as an all-star and one of the premier shooters in the game. Had the Warriors proceeded with the trade for love, their team would undoubtedly still be strong. But the historic achievement of reaching five consecutive finals, largely driven by the very talent they considered trading, would likely not have materialized. Based on various accounts, the Warriors seriously deliberated over this decision. Although it may appear illogical now, at that moment, the Splash Brothers were yet to fully prove themselves. The NBA hadn't embraced its fascination with three-point shooting, and Kevin Love was dominating with impressive averages of 26 points and 12 rebounds. Before the seismic shift of Kyrie Irving to the Boston Celtics in the summer of 2017, the Cleveland Cavaliers were on the brink of reshuffling their famed trio. Paul George had signaled his intention to leave the Indiana Pacers, prompting the Cavaliers to attempt to trade a star trio with George, LeBron James, and Irving, with Kevin Love as the trading chip. The Denver Nuggets showed interest in acquiring Love and proposed sending 22-year-old shooting guard Gary Harris to the Pacers, who would also receive additional assets according to ESPN reports. All parties had verbally agreed to the trade in a conference call, but Pacers general manager Kevin Pritchard retracted, ultimately sending George to the Oklahoma City Thunder in exchange for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabanis. If George had joined the Cavaliers, it's conceivable that Cleveland might have persuaded Irving to stay, or they would have persuaded a trade that favored immediate championship contention rather than a future draft pick. Such a deal would have undoubtedly added a new dimension to the already intense Cavaliers-Golden State Warriors rivalry, potentially altering the league's balance. This move could have been a game-changer for the Cavaliers franchise. It's amazing to think how different things could have been with just one change in the plan. Want to know about more changes in the NBA? Check out this video!